Hi, this is Mariah Gullo from The Hollywood Reporter, and I'm in studio today with Tara Reed. Hi, Tara. Hello. How, how are, are you? you doing? Fantastic. You are here to talk about Sharknado 6. Yes. But as we were talking off camera, Sharknado 6 is shrouded in mystery. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, I told you, they said right now the movie is three and a half hours long, and they have to bring it down to 90 minutes. That's including with commercial breaks. Right. Yeah, you know, so they really, so we shot like three movies. They could have actually made like six, seven, and eight, but. So you have no idea what's going to end no, up and in I the did, final cut. Yeah, I did ADR the other day, so, um, but I saw a lot of the scenes that I was in, but I'm like, mm -hmm. what happened to that scene? They're like, ah, uh, <laughs> the editing floor. I'm like, I love that scene. You know? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah one, of the, one of the things I wanted to ask you about is what is it like to get the script to a Sharknado movie for the first time? Like, you get the script and you start opening it up and. What is it like? I, the first time we got it, I just thought it was the most ridiculous, silly movie I've ever read in my life. I'm like, <laughs> sharks flying in the sky, killing people, really? Like, I'm like, this is so cheesy, it's so bad. But it was so bad that it was kind of good. Yeah. And I remember going out to dinner that night with my friends, and I told them about the film, and they were like, Tyra, this is the funniest film ever. You have to do this movie. <laughs> and at the time, it was called Dark Skies. Mm -hmm. So it didn't seem like as cheesy as Sharknado. <laughs> yeah. And then like the third day into filming it, they're like, oh, we changed the name. It's now called Sharknado. I'm like, no, no, you ever said phone. You can't do this. You can't. I don't want to be an IMDb, and then on Sharknado, it's going to be terrible. And they're like, trust me, it's going to work. And um, here we are, Sharknado 6. Yes. But to go back to your question is, there's no real script. I mean, that first one we kind of based off of it, and then the rest of the scripts, it's mostly improv. Because it, they really? lines, they would give us, every day they give new pages, so we'd get new pages every morning, 30 wow. pages. Wow, wow. Like, it's it. almost we, like filming a soap opera. It was crazy. It was like, this one was, a, this one was the hardest one we made, for sure. Because it was just, it was craziness. And you have to depend a lot because of all of the special effects. You have to depend a lot yeah, on just the direction. The a lot in that, but also you got to know what you're kind of saying. You know, because you got to put the storyline together. Mm -hmm. And some of it, we're like, wait, we can't say that. This makes no sense. We just said that we weren't going to do that in the other scene. So now, like, and we didn't have, like, what, a script what is the supervisor response usually on it. when like, you say that? Well, because they didn't Are they, they like, forget. just go with it? No, then they're like, oh, yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. Uh. Like, you know, I'm like, how can you forget about that? <laughs> One time I, in the movie, she has a fake hand, you know, and she has mm -hmm. a glove on. I'm like, guys, the glove's not on. We have to reshoot that scene. You know, because they, they have mm -hmm. to take it on and off. So you had your real thing. hand. Shown. And they go, oh, don't worry, no one's going to see it. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> like, they don't care. Like, no continuity whatsoever. Do you ever have to stop and say, you know, April wouldn't do this? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's different characters that, that you know wouldn't do it. Like, there was a scene actually with um, Finn. Uh, who were all of a sudden like a girl's kind of beating him up. Well, that would never happen. Finn would never let that happen. So mm -hmm. we were like, this, this isn't Finn. I it doesn't to go fight for yeah. that. He's yeah, say, like, no. I don't get beat up by girls. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, just, <laughs> so stuff like that. We're saying April should do this. And April's not like that. I'm like, April, like, she saves kids and she's like, loves like to save the world. She's mm -hmm. not going to go now punching like people and you know, turns right. into it like this mean person. So you have to monitor, like, everyone, like, me, I, and Anthony, and the producers, you know, and the writer, we have like, very big says in the movie. So mm -hmm. we all kind of collaborate and make this crazy movie <laughs> magically work. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what are we, uh, I know we can't really talk about Sharknado because neither of us have seen it, mm -hmm. but we can talk about uh, some of the cameo appearances. Can you talk yeah. about any of them? Is this going to air before... Um, It'll air the day that Sharknado comes out. And then I could say some of the things, yeah, right? Yeah, it's great. Oh, that's even better. So um, this this Sharknado is absolutely crazy because we've done everything. I already give birth in an outer space inside right. of a shark. I mean, yes. who, could do, who could do that? <laughs> I went from a normal person to half robotic to, like, a full robot. I have magical powers. I could fly, laser beams. I'm like, I'm like a pocket, like an army knight pocket switch. I could do anything. Yeah. You know, she can hold up helicopters and, you know, save buses from, like, hold up the bus so the kids don't get killed. I mean, she does all kind of, like, she really, one of the things I loved about playing this April is that she's a superhero. And yeah. I think every actor's dream is to play a superhero because it's so much fun. you got to do, yeah. like, this crazy stuff with it. And this one, they have, um, they make clones of me. So there's a there's an April clones. So mm -hmm. there's, like, hundreds of Aprils. And are we in the future now? Because Sharknado 5 ended with Gil coming back and taking his father into the future. Yes, and no. 
Oh, okay. So in this movie, it's all about time travel. Okay. So what, what we're trying to do is get into it and time travel to where the other place was, to kind of pick up all the peeps, people where they were. And you could reverse time and save some of the lives. Some of the people that you thought were dead in the first one are back in this one. And then our son, Gil, is lost in one of them. We're trying to figure out which Sharknado is. And, and on this one, I could drive a Sharknado. <laughs> it's just like, how they thought of the things they thought of this one, it's just like another level. Is Gil still played by Dolph Lundgren? Yes. Amazing. Yes. Yeah, it's just, it's hilarious. <laughs> Who are some of the other cameo appearances? There are so many. There was a, mostly a lot of, like, British stars. Was ah, a lot of them in it. Okay. Um, it's funny, because we don't get to work with the people in the cameos. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So I didn't really have any scenes with them. I'm trying to think. With people in... I didn't really have any scenes with the cameos. It's mostly just me and Finn. Right. They're usually the extras that go inside right. of it. They're separate scenes. Yeah. Other movies we had, like, my favorite person I ever did one with would be Kelly Osbourne. But she was in the ah, scene with me. She's a friend of mine, and she did a great <laughs> job. But, yeah, but there's going to be a lot of cameos in this one, for sure. But I just don't think we haven't gone over the list who it is. What's it like for you and Ian on set? Do you guys get to some time to kind of play around or... Are you like pretty? Because you're filming most of your scenes together, so you're yeah, pretty close. Yeah, there's like no play time because <laughs> what we're shooting a day would take most movies shoot like you know see four pages a day. We're shooting like thirty pages a day. Wow. Because it's only eighteen days. I think we shoot the whole movie in. Really? Okay, so that yeah. was the first Sharknado was filmed yeah, in eighteen all like days that. too. Yeah, they're all like wow. That. Yeah, it's crazy. We're staying consistent with that. <sighs> I mean, that's why it's so hard. <laughs> and every day you're getting new pages. So you're like, well, I'm not going to memorize these pages a day because they're all going to turn tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So it's like they're readjusting the storyline every single day. Like wow. We have no idea what the movie's going to turn out to look like. But in a certain way, I mean, there's we time travel, which this is to me is just, I'm, I love this. I think it's so funny because it's so stupid. We time travel in a pot. Like a big, like like how you cook soup in this huge <laughs> soup pot. Okay. And so we're driving, like you just see this soup pot like go through the air and be like land. You're like, and I remember it was so we were shooting in Bulgaria, uh -huh. and it was so cold there. It was minus thirty. Wow. We were we were dying. Like we were freezing with our costumes, like like shaking to death. And I remember just getting in the soup pot. We're like, do we have to get out of the soup pot? Like, <laughs> you wanted to, we wanted to in say it. it cause we Why is it a soup pot that you're time traveling in? It's Sharknado. <laughs> like, there's no answers. Every time you don't get something, they're like, Sharknado. You know, like, if someone doesn't answer your question, you're like, yeah, Sharknado. It's just anything. And we use it all the time, too. Because I'll ask, I'll be like, Anthony, we can't do this, you know, to the director. He said, this makes no sense. He's like, it's Sharknado. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, you're right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Just release all expectations. Yeah, exactly. That's what the fans do, too. <laughs> yeah, and they know that. I think that's why the fans like it so much, because they see that, you know, it's outrageous. They see that it's completely, it, it takes you out of your everyday life. This is a very hard time that people are alive with all the war and all the, like, racism going on and all the bullying going on and so many things mm -hmm. are just bad, you know, even from the weather. And mm -hmm. one of the things I think that Sharknado does is people know it's so silly. They get together and they have Sharknado parties. Mm -hmm. It's got, like, it's that kind of movie. I never, ever remember going to a movie, like, I'm watching, going to a movie for a party. Right. And every year, people look at it like, like how they are with the Super Bowl. It's like the Sharknado week. And I can't tell you, like, thousands of people have Sharknado parties. That's it's, excellent. Like, the, the, we have such a cult, like, it's a cult film. Yeah. It's amazing to me what happened with this little film. Yeah. It still blows my mind away. <laughs> it really does. Um, can you give us a preview of any of the new weapons that will be used on the sharks? Um, there's, I mean, you're always going to have fun with the saw. That's what mm -hmm. he does. The weaponry with me is just all the, the magic that happens. You know, because I have a, a gadget hand, so I could you know, take it off and put the saw on, or then I could take it right. and lasers come out of me and I could put something in a circle, you know. I could fly. I could, so there's, like, my body and the different contachments mm -hmm. on it are, are the different ways. Excellent. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Um, have you ever had an interaction with a real shark? No, I never have. Oh, no. so you've never Keep been curious to, like... <laughs> Not be yet. on vacation and go to one of those. I've shark thought about sightings. going to yeah, if like a shark tank. Uh -huh. I thought about doing that, but somewhere like really warm, like the Bahamas, where they yeah. have like the not the killer white sharks. Would you get in the cage? I think I would, you know, but not not the great white ones that's gonna like bite the cage open. You know, I mean, that, I think the sharks know. would want to take a selfie with you. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> um, four quick questions before we go. 
Uh, first job that made you think, I've made it? American Pie, because yeah. I was on the cover of Rolling Stone. Ah, so, yes, a milestone. Yeah, when I was on the cover of Rolling Stone, like, you can't get bigger than that. And I thought, ah, oh, no, this is it. And then one time when I was shooting, I was living in New York City, and I had, and you know how they, they have the newspaper stands? Mm -hmm. And I was on four covers at the same time. And they were like all in the shops and the stands. And I remember walking by, like no one realized it was me, and I had a baseball hat on. And I walked by and I was like, oh my gosh, this wow. is crazy. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. The best day on the set of Sharknado 6? Uh, the day, day we wrap. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you get to take a bubble yeah. bath. You're like, oh, God, thank God it's over. <laughs> uh, last great piece of career advice you've gotten? Just to, you know, believe in yourself and stay strong because it, mm. it will come back to you. Like, mm. life is a roller coaster and, and karma and just everything. And if you really believe in something hard enough and want it hard enough, you'll get it. You know, mm. I re and I'm also a person that believes that if you put something out there to the universe, mm -hmm. a lot of times, like, you know, people say, well, why didn't that happen? Like, did you ask it? Mm. You know, like, so when you kind of ask the universe for something, they give you a sign back. Mm. Nice. Uh, worst audition story? Oh, God. I was lucky in my life that very early on, after The Big Lebowski, I think, no, after American Pie was my last audition. Oh. And then the rest of all the movies I've done are offers. But I remember doing The Big Lebowski. I was so nervous. And I thought, I remember seeing Charlize Theron in the waiting room and Liv Tyler. I'm like, yeah, oh, right. Wow. Like, I want to get this. And I was so nervous in the room. And I'm, like, sitting there on the phone, like, blow. I can't blow that far, but my sh leg was shaking like this, like <laughs> blah, 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 like, like, and they're like, calm down, you know, and I thought, I walked out, I'm like, I'm never gonna get that part, I'm like, I was shaking like a yeah. leaf. When that. you're nervous, you can't You can't stop help yourself it, say, when you're holding the card, you're like this. Yeah. You know, and you could yep. see it, so, mm -hmm. you know, and then I thought, oh no, and then I got, I got a phone call, I got the part, and I was like, really? Like, wow. how? You know, but. I would say that was like the most nerve wracking, and it right. actually worked in my the favor. The worst ended up being the best. Yeah, totally. So <laughs> it's always like that. When you think something's going to be great, mm -hmm. it's not. When you think something's right. going to be terrible, it's not that bad. <laughs> you know? Excellent. That's an excellent, great piece of advice. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, Tara. Shark Sharknado 6 out August 19th. Yay! <laughs> Go see it, Sharknado 6, August 19th on Sci Fi.